take it easy over the bumps, especially on low air pressure. That's when you damage those left side tires. And keep your eyes on debris. This place is notorious for paper flying around, especially on the front straightaway. So every once in a while, you take care of yourself and peek at that water temperature gauge, Brad. That's really important here. And believe me, I've had a lot of issues with that over the years. You get a lot of debris here at California Speedway. I'm watching Joey Logano here, 10 laps to go in the first stage. And it looks to me like Kyle Busch is just a tiny bit faster, Michael. Maybe about two tenths a lap. Goes in, though. Yeah, Logano's experience and knowledge of this racetrack and Kyle Busch, both guys are going to make adjustments to their cars when they make this first pit stop. That'll make them perform even better after that. My question, Brad, is do you think Logano tries to hop in the pits a couple of laps before the stage ends? maybe get some service and get to get some track position even further as we race toward the, the next stage. And this is the first time we've had this format in a two-mile track. So the opportunities for strategy may be a little bit more wide open, certainly than they would have been last week at Phoenix, and, and even more so than what we saw at Atlanta or Las Vegas. You're right, because what makes a two-mile speedway different is that you can pit and not lose a lap if you're in the front few cars. Uh, but I think, and this is just a suspicion of mine, Joey Logano really wants that stage win. He's not going to do that. <laughs> well, I think we could see if you're in the five, top five or top six, maybe get on pit road, get your tires, get your service, and then stay out. It'd be interesting to see if any of the teams play that. A really fast car is this one, Elliot Sadler. He's moved right up on the bumper of Paul Custer. They're racing for the fifth position. Sadler's got a good ride today. And there's a gaggle of cars right here. A lot of spots to be had to battle all the way from fourth to sixth. And not too far behind us, Menard, he's kind of caught up a little bit again in seven. And you know, Adam, as we race toward the end of stage one of lap 35, in years past, there would be no sense of urgency for Elliot Sadler to grab that spot away from Cole Custer. That's a part of our past. You want to get every spot you can, every second of the race, to get those important stage points. He scored more points in stage one and stage two than anybody. That's why he's our championship leader. I, I think you own that right at NASCAR's top level, if I'm... I'm thinking right, Brad. 64 points I think you've scored in Stage 1 and Stage 2 this year. So how does the sense of urgency change right now as you see Elliott Sadler pick up a couple more spots? That's a big pass, Elliott. Really. That's two points. And, you know, you just don't know how these races can play out. We, Larry just asked me about debris. You get debris on the front end of this car and blow an engine with five laps to go. Oh, we got spin here. Back tip. Around in the 19 car. Oh, hold the brakes. Yeah, could you get the brakes there? We can. Rookie of the Year contender. Now this is where it gets interesting. He was running 18, six laps to go in stage one, and we have our first caution of the afternoon racing here with Bubba Wallace in the Purple Six.